so let's go ahead and go to the next question. We had a lot of variations of this one and it's about income and money. Uh, so what type of income can a coach expect to make? And this is so varied, but before we, you know, answer, do any of the wisdom coaches want to talk about how you charge or the type of income you make or the impact on your life financially? First of all, don't think about it as income. Think about it as an investment to change and transform lives. And I always, I told Renee once, you know, I don't sell, uh, excuse me, I don't sell a package. I sell the program. And with that, when I'm sitting down with someone and I tell them, you know, after an intake form, this is what this program can do for your child. Then they're more apt to invest in the change rather than look at the price. So when you sit down and you show them the program, I always show my prices last because that's the mm -hmm. least important thing to me. I'm here because you thought you needed a wisdom coach. I can help your child. So let's sit down. So I have a 12, eight, six, and four package. And with that, I only go see them once a week because I've learned that parents are so busy. If you go more than once a week, it's like, well, we can't mm -hmm. do it this week. We can't do it this week, but I'm apt about doing it once a week on the same day. So they know that nothing's going to change. They know that if they go to the doctor's appointment, then Misty is coming on Wednesday at three o'clock. So when you guys do programs, I think it's important when you're trying to make the money that way. I do the 12 for 150 an hour and I also do spot coaching. And with spot coaching, I've had parents call me and say, uh, my child is acting up at school. Can you go talk to him? And I charge $75 just to go and talk to the kid and have them go back to class and not at home. Um, it's been helpful to me to have packages to show because a lot of people say, like me, myself, when I was looking to the program, well, I can't pay this amount, but I can pay this amount. So being able to have a set package and different ways to break that price down, it gives each family a different way to look at it. Well, I can't pay $150, but if you break that up, I can pay this. So when you made, when I made my packages, I'm in a rural area. So I had to make sure that I'm not breaking the bank. So my transformations can be affordable. So look at it as an affordable transformation for your child. And like um, Delia, I, I still work a full-time job. I do private coaching and I do workshops because it allows you to do it all one time. And you can, if you get the group of people, price don't matter because I won't charge $25. But if you have 25 and 50 students, you're, st you're still doing good, you know? So don't look at it that way. Look at the, the investment for the transformations. And when you do it out of your heart and not the money, everybody comes. You don't even have to work that hard for it. Okay. Does anybody else want to add anything about income or pricing or packaging? Jody? Yeah, yeah. So for me, um, I'm not necessarily to share how much I have made or not, but um, for me, I was really unsure how to price initially, how to, I was really kind of, you know, held up, say I'm in a small rural community, same thing. Um, you know, you're always worried about whether you're going to give them what, you know, if people can afford it and then, and uh, if it, you're giving them the results or, you know, if they're seeing value there. But uh, so far, I haven't had anyone really balk at my prices. I did the initial Confidence Kid launch box that was part of that business curriculum, which is I set it up as my first five clients. This is the price. After that, it's this price. So I started um, about $50 per session is how I kind of looked at it. Um, and I felt really comfortable with that. I mean, I do, do quite a bit with supplies and snacks and stuff with the kids. So, you you know, make sure you're covering all that. That came from <laughs> Rahima was a good idea she gave me. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, so I, I found, but now that I've already had my first five, the, you know, the company or the kids that have come again and again, I've upped the price each time because um, I'm just, I'm more experienced. I feel more comfortable doing it. And they're not even questioning it. They, they have seen the value. They're excited. The kids are begging to come back. So um, yeah, you always have to consider price. And then for some people, income is a really big part piece of this. Um, if you have a way to kind of ease your way in, yeah, it's going to take a little bit of time for me. I, I had the the, the ability to, you know, have a business running in the background, making us a little bit of money. And so I was able to ease my way in, but 
there's a way to make money at this for sure. And um, people see value. They will see the value. Delia? Yeah, I just wanted to um, also mention that um, I, I liked what um, Deanna was saying about, um, you know, thinking about the transformation and and discussing it that way with a parent. And also, I felt at the beginning when I started seven years ago, it had to be a price that I was comfortable uh, saying it out loud to a parent. If I was to go and say that, oh, it cost a thousand dollars, I would be like, oh my God, I wouldn't be able to say that. Uh, but if I if I started, and like I, I said, I started with uh, a workshop, right? So there's a lower price point, but I had all of a sudden the workshop absolutely full with I think 12 moms and daughters that were coming to the workshop. So it was absolutely, um, you know, wonderful from that perspective. And I covered my uh, cost of the space uh, at that time. And um, I was comfortable to uh, mention um, you know, the price uh, of the workshop, I think it was maybe 25 at the time, I don't remember uh, exactly. And then little by little, your confidence is going to grow, and you will be able to charge a little bit more and a little bit more. Uh, then for me, again, as an example, when COVID came, I offered free coaching in groups for parents for the kids that were at home, because I was just so um, I really wanted to offer something for these kids that were just, you know, in lockdown. So that was the time that I didn't make any money <laughs> with that. Um, however, it was absolutely fantastic because those people hired me after that when things started to pick up and they referred me to other parents and so on and so on. And I think somebody else was also mentioned about the power of referral uh, and uh, getting, you know, it. it it relates to income, uh, even though I might, might not be saying the exact um, uh, amount, but you are getting like a domino effect after that, because it just grows almost without any effort from your part after you've been doing this for a, for a number of years, right? And, and they're just coming back and they're, what else do you have? And I have like clients that have gone the entire curriculum. They're coming, what else do you have? Do you have anything new? I'm like, we can do a refresher or we can do this other program or, um, you know, it's it's just so, uh, so fantastic. It, it really, really uh, grows with you. Uh, and uh, I mean, I, I can be happier for the impact um, that I'm making. And I think everybody agrees with me here. Hey, thank you. And um, I'm just noticing the time. We only have five minutes left. Rahima, did you want to say anything about income? I don't want to throw you in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Okay, I am unmuted. Um, one thing that I think is really important is, of course, as your confidence grows, you um, you are more comfortable charging more. Um, but I do feel that, number one, we have to look at the skills that you're teaching are not taught in schools. And this is something that you really have to value what you do. And as you value what you do and who you are, and of course the way that you deliver it, you have to, just as we teach our students how to believe in themselves, it's that belief that you have to build in yourself as well. And building that belief in yourself and the understanding that okay, you know what, this is, these are life-changing skills. I can charge, you know, what, whatever it is, whether it's a hundred or $150 or whatever it is per session, whatever you decide on, but at the same time, don't discount what you do, value yourself and what you are delivering to these children. That is really, really important. Yeah. That's great. Thank you so much.